Easy HMV, I'm Tom Grennan and I'm going to be taking you through the albums and records that inspired me on my journey so far. So let's get into it. Firstly, Inside In, The Inside Out, The Kooks. I feel like this was an important record for my generation. We all played it at school and it was the first record that made me want to sing. Um, I was at a party and I sung Seaside in front of people for the first time and it inspired me to go on and do music. And it was the first gig I ever went to. I went to see this album be played by The Coots and I love it and I'll always will love it. So yeah, big album. The next record I want to get into is this bad boy record. Amy Winehouse, Back to Black. Um, for me, she's the Queen of England, will always be the Queen of England. And she allowed people to come into her world when she was battling with demons and going through a really, really rough time. However, with all of that, it makes you feel good and it makes me feel good and makes me happy. So for someone to do that and allow people to enter their lives and make it a positive thing, she'll be the Queen of England always. And this is my favorite record of all time, hands down. Then we get into Amy Winehouse, Frank. I didn't listen to this record until I fell in love with Back to Black. And then when I came to this record, it was a whole different Amy. It was a young Amy. It was Amy who was full of life, didn't really care about what people thought. And all the tunes for me are just uplifting. And my favorite song on here is Fuck Me Pumps. And it's lyrically, it's just mad. It takes you on a journey of her and 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 how and what she wants to be and I don't know it's a very colorful record and it just makes makes me want to know Amy on a personal level level rather than just the artist Amy Winehouse then we go get into this record here the Lars the mystery man Lee Mathers I got put onto this record by my guitarist his name's Danny Connors big shout out to Danny um, and obviously I know I knew there she goes. Um, and Danny said, said this to me where it was a, a magical stream of melody that was like a hymn. And when I heard there she goes, I knew what there she goes was about and how many people it hit and, and what the song did for people. But it wasn't until I actually dove into this album and then just listened to it and listened to the lyrics and there's a song on here called Feeling. And for me, it's just, it's just a great record. And Lee Mavis is just probably one of the best lyricists to have lived and who is living. So um, big record. If you haven't dive, dove into this record, then please do because yeah, it's full of surprises and it's just unbelievable. Uh, I've got to mention this record. I haven't actually got the record because somebody stole it from me or I lent it to someone, but Eminem, Marshall Mathers, first E, first LP. For me, Eminem is the rap god. He is someone that I listen to. My mum put me onto Eminem. Um, and the way he's wordplay, his storytelling, um, and just how he made a laugh and joke of everybody and anybody. Um, I just love Eminem, so definitely, definitely is one of my favourite records. And then lastly, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, Elton John. Elton John for me is the Donny, the Don of all Dons. Um, I love Candle in the Wind. Um, when I heard this song, for me, it took me on a journey of, of a lady and made me fall in love with this lady. And how he's written this song and, and made me do that... Um, He's just a storyteller. And I feel like for me, in my music, I always want to be a storyteller and I always want to kind of hit people with different ways to think. And this album made me think and this album is a journey and Elton John will always be the Don. So these are all my albums that I love that inspired me. So go listen to them, enjoy them and take care. Love you all.